Hey guys, Alex here from IndieArtistLounge.com. Today I want to show you how to get a nice, big sounding guitar recording in your productions without having to record a ton of guitar parts. So in this video we're going to be looking at a track from my recent EP that I just released. Uh, this track is actually the title track of the EP, it's called You Never Let Me Go. And in several sections of this song, there are really nice, big sounding guitar parts that I'm really happy with, but I didn't record a ton of guitars. Like I didn't layer guitar track upon guitar track upon guitar track to try to get this huge sort of wall of sound. I actually, at, at any given point, there's only at most seven guitar tracks going on at the same time. All right, let's jump in and let me show you how that sort of looks here. So here, here are my guitar, here are my guitar tracks inside. If you never let me go, you can see, you know, I got bass and guitars, and then I got some synth stuff and everything. But we're just going to focus on the guitars here, and let me show you this first interlude of the song where it sort of sounds nice and big, and and then I'll show you through each of the guitar parts. Okay, so that's nice and big and full, and, but as you can see, I don't have like a whole screen full of guitar parts here, right? It's, as I said, it's seven guitars going on at the same time, okay? So that might, that might sound like a lot to you, but I know I've mixed songs that have been like, I don't know, upwards of 20 something guitar parts all at once, right? So seven really isn't too many. So the key here is to be intentional and to make each of your guitar parts fill in a certain spot in the arrangement and sort of in the in the frequency spectrum as well. So the first thing we have here are two acoustic guitar tracks and this is part of what contributes to the nice big sound because this these acoustic guitar tracks are actually doubled. So here's how that sounds. So you can see that I just recorded the same thing twice and pan them hard left and right. So that's that's a part of it. And then here I have this main electric guitar part which is panned right up the middle. And so it kind of takes care of the the sort of rhythm part, the nice sort of crunch and and sort of the chug along through part of it. So listen to that. Okay. Now here are two more tracks here and these ones are complementary tracks. So they're not doubled, they're not playing the exact same thing, but they do complement each other. So this one, electric lead, is off just a little bit to the left and it's a pretty pretty sort of distorted, crunchy kind of lead part. So have a listen to that. And then this next one, Electric Clean, is a very similar part, panned a little bit off to the right, but it's cleaner and does sort of more of a picking style. And so together, they really complement each other. And they really sort of start to fill things up. So as you can see, I have this acoustic guitar part, which is just chords. I have uh, an electric sort of chugging part, which is kind of lower on the guitar and, and just chugging through. These ones are a little bit higher, so they're filling up kind of those different areas of the spectrum. And then finally, I have this sort of completely different high lead part. Have a listen to that. So again, it's doubled, same thing, recorded, panned hard left and right, and just kind of carries the melody along there. And then, really, that's it. So all together, those guitar parts sound like this.
All right, so that's how I got a really nice big full guitar sound with only seven tracks, okay? You don't need a ton of guitar tracks all piled on top of each other, all playing the same thing. It's best to have a few tracks so they don't clutter each other up and have them each do something a little bit different so that they build upon each other and complement each other. So again, I'm Alex from IndieArtistLounge.com. As I said, this song is off of my recent EP. And if you want to know a little more about how I produced this EP, some of the decisions that I made, the process that I went through, check out EP Insider Pack. Dot com. It's a video series where I go through my whole production process of this EP. You get to see kind of what I did, how I did it, and uh, the process that I took to get there and how I got the results that I did. Also check out the blog, IndieArtistLounge.com. Lots of great stuff coming your way over there. Sign up to the mailing list if you haven't already. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.